How's it going, guys? Bradley Sutton from Helium 10, and I'm in Magnet right now, which is the premier keyword research tool on the planet. You know, we've got over 450 million products in our database, and we go out there and search tons of uh, these products to get you the best keywords for your listing. So let's say you're in the beauty category. You're coming out with a, a makeup product. You just want to make a general um, search uh, about makeup here. Today's video, we're going to talk about how to filter out some words that so you don't keep seeing them and make sure that you have the results that you need. We've got 2,780 words that have come up here, all right? And so maybe you're just, you know, browsing, um, you see rose water spray for face and you see beauty set, okay, that might be related. But a lot of times, um, you know you don't want to have brand names. You know, you're not gonna put other brand names in your uh, product listing. So you have MAC Cosmetics. I bet you MAC Cosmetics comes out a lot. Let's go ahead and check. Um, another magnet search here, um, cosmetics. Let me just look under cosmetics. Let's see what happens. All right, cosmetics. And there's 3,000 words. I don't want to look through all of them. Just say, is Mac cosmetics here as a phrase? Let's see. Whoops, I forgot to do it. Mac cosmetics. Survey says... Boom, it's there, all right? Um, let's do another magnet search. You know, some if you're in the beauty category and your makeup, um, natural makeup brush. I mean, something completely unrelated to, or real specific, unrelated to like cosmetics necessarily, but we got 486 words. Does MAC Cosmetics come up here? Uh, I don't see it here on the first page. Let me just search MAC Cosmetics. Show me stuff that has two words. Boom. So Mac Cosmetics might be coming up all the time. Let's say you search 10 words because you're, you're doing lots of keyword research and you keep seeing Mac Cosmetics. You know, is there a way to like, hey, I don't want to see Mac Cosmetics anymore, okay? Because I'm never going to put this in my listing. Well, if you don't want to have that as an exact phrase, and sometimes this might be like a phrase like Amazon bestseller or something like that. You know, maybe a product is ranking for it. Um, you know, it's an actual keyword that's searched a lot. Look at Mac Cosmetics is searched. 8,000 times a month. So that, that's why it's here, you know, but what can we do? I'm going to go up here to common words and I'm going to say add common word and I'm going to put Mac Cosmetics. And what this is going to do is now whenever Mac Cosmetics comes up as a standalone phrase, you know, not as part of another phrase, it is no longer going to come up. So let's see. Um, this was on this page and I don't see it anymore. Let's just make sure. Show me phrases that have Mac cosmetics there are two words apply look at that it's not there anymore let's go to the search for cosmetics let me go ahead and show do the search again say show me words that show mac cosmetics two words no longer found it's not there what about my search for natural makeup brush it was right here right let me do this again search again it's gone, okay? So the way I did that again was common words. So now this is permanently on my ban word list. I don't wanna see this phrase ever come up in any search I do on Magnet. If I ever wanted to change my mind, I'll go ahead and delete it. All right, well, what's the difference between that and then deleted words, all right? Let's look up, uh, let's open up this search again, um, apply. As you go through your keyword research, you might see stuff that you don't want to see. Like, hey, I'm looking for um, something to do with gifts. You know, I don't want to see something um, that has nothing to do with gifts. All right. Um, facial mist. So maybe I'm like, hey, I don't want to see facial mist in this search. I'm looking for something else. I don't want to see makeup, Mac. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this, whatever. Right. So I, I'm um, narrowing down my keyword results. Well, that no longer comes up here. When I hit history and look at my search history and I pull it up, those ones aren't gonna come back. But what if I made a mistake or what if I deleted something accidentally? Well, I'm gonna go to deleted words and those ones that I deleted are right here, only on this search. It's not like never again will makeup removing wipes come up. You know, that's common words, okay? Deleted words is just for this search session. These words are not going to appear in my history or what I'm looking at right now. So maybe I'm like, whoops, I didn't mean to really or um, remove facial mist. I'm gonna return that back into the listing. Now it's gonna come up here, facial mist, all right? So um, what if, you don't want to see, and look at all these words with facial spray, facial spray, all right? So what if you don't want to see words that have 
facial spray in it just for this search uh, term, not just the whole entire phrase. You know, this uh, deleted words is just one phrase I deleted. But what if I want I don't want to see all uh, words that have the word facial or all phrases that have the word facial uh, um what did I say? Facial what? What did I say? Where is that? Facial spray. All right. So I'm going to say exclude phrases that contain facial spray. Apply. It went from 2776 now to 2754. That means there was like 20 listings in there that had facial spray. I am no longer seeing that. All right. What if I want another, another phrase? I just put a comma right here. I don't want to see anything with kabuki. Kabuki. No. It takes from 2754. Now we're down to 2747, all right? So that's another way to exclude just from this search some words. Again, um, maybe I only want to show, you know, I, you, saw, you saw how I just looked for MAC Cosmetics, right? But maybe I'm just curious. Um, um, for example, right here, it says eyeshadow is repeated two, over 200 times in these search results. So I'm gonna go show me the phrases that include eyeshadow. All right, and here we go. There is a 200 times that it's right here. Eyeshadow, makeup palettes, eyeshadow, eyeshadow, nudette palettes, all right? So guys, there's all these cool features that I bet you guys didn't know about right here in Magnet. So again, um, in review, anything you delete by hitting this X right here, it's gonna put it in this deleted words only for this search session. But if you wanted to permanently ban a full phrase um, that you never wanna see in any search, like. I'm in the makeup category. I don't want to see MAC Cosmetics every single time I search a makeup word. Put that into the common words. If you wanted to just weed out individual words, no matter if it comes as a phrase or if it comes uh, as a single word um, or part of a phrase, you would put right here, exclude. All right. So guys, I hope this helps you to narrow down your results when you're using a magnet search. Thanks.